Even to the extent that I would like to give my humble proposal to Tun Dr. Mahathir and to the government. If the government is really under pressure by this uh, minority group, I, can, I consider it's a minority group, why not the government call for a referendum on two issues? Akta Hasultan 148, Seditious Act 1948, and to abolish the death penalty. Go for a referendum. 对此课题闹得沸沸扬扬，土宣组织公开向政府倡议，以公投决定废除死刑的去留，让全民决定是否支持政府落实废死。So everybody can go to public and voice their opinion. Then one day we go to the ballot box referendum and we put our stand and we see the majority of the Malaysian citizen whether they they pro or they go against. 伊布拉辛阿里在国际人权日这一天公开要求政府不应该向少数声音的组织低头废除死刑，同时要求政府保留一九四八年煽动法令。Please think many times. Please, please, please think many times. And I hope the government shouldn't fall into the pressure of minority requests. You see, think of the majority. I've been asking. I've been going along around. Since they came to see me, uh, asking Council to take up this case, I've been asking a lot of opinion from lawyers that I know, public, other NGOs. They also agreed that uh, death penalty and Citizens Act 1948 should be retained. 伊布拉辛阿里直言，一旦政府废除死刑，马来西亚的犯罪率将随之提高，因为被判死刑的囚犯将改为监禁，继而造成政府需要承担庞大的费用。You see, if you remove the death penalty, it can inspire or what do you call motivate criminals. Well, I can rob, I can rape, whatever. But I know if I was found guilty, I only spend my time in jail 30 years, and when I'm in jail, all things be taken care. My food, everything, be taken care. So where is the spirit of punishment? And for the past 30 years, the government has spent almost 500 million plus on the food that costs 41 ringgit each per day, plus other uh, necessities. Necessary 伊布拉辛阿里多番强调，媒体误将此课题政治化，直言自己并非种族主义者，并举例来自不同族群的受害者家属曾经寻求土权组织的协助，希望能替死者讨回公道。People always excuse, accuse Prokasa being racist lah, Remali being racist lah. No, I'm not. You see, lots, lot, lot of Chinese people, Indian people, friends who came to know me and close to me, they are very. Proud of me, they said, "This is Ibrahim Mal, the true Ibrahim Mali, which before we have misconception of you because of the cyber trooper. Well, because when come to election, I made my stand. People start attacking me because I'm that side. I'm not on the other the other side, so they accuse me all kind of things. You see, and anything bad was put on me, but now I'm no longer a bad person, no more." Because there are too many fraud in the country now, not only me, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, it can be a joke, lah. But to know Ibrahim Ali is to love Ibrahim Ali. 土权已经在十二月九号在网络发起了反废死联署，同时希望最迟能在明年二月举行一个圆桌会议，与前总统检察署、律师、学者等成员人士，针对废除死刑课题进行交流。